Hi guys, welcome to Granny's Kitchen. So today I'm going to make a shepherd's pie, but I'm going to add Guinness to this pie. But if you want to make it without the Guinness, that's perfectly fine. It's just an added flavor that's not required. Without the Guinness, it's just as tasty. Okay, so I have all my ingredients ready here and I'm gonna go through it with you. And hopefully you'll get some tips and you'll be able to make it for your family. It's, a, it's just the perfect dish if you have a big crowd coming and you just wanna have a one pot dish. Put that on the table and everybody helps themselves. Okay guys, before you start making your shepherd's pie, you should prepare your potatoes. Three and a half to four pound would probably be typical for a shepherd's pie. I always salt my potatoes, so I'm just gonna add some salt to this now. I just like the flavor of potatoes. We don't salt a lot in this house, but um, potatoes are one thing that I always salt. Bring them to the boil. When they're soft, I'll show you how I mash them and get them ready to go on top of the shepherd's pie. Okay, so we're going to start off with our oil. So about two tablespoons of oil. Um, you, if you want to judge it yourself, that's fine. So look, if you have a look there, about two tablespoons of oil. And to this, I'm going to start with my onions. Now we're just going to sweat the onions. We don't want to brand them. We just want to sweat them. So I'm going to add them to my oil. I'm going to turn the oil down now because it's quite hot. And I'm just going to saute my onions. So to this now I'm going to add uh, three cloves of garlic and I'm just going to mix that around. So I'm going to quickly take these off the heat because I'm going to brown my ground beef. Typically you'd add a pound of ground beef to this dish but I have a big gang coming today so I have a little over a pound and a half in here um, and I'm going to adjust my own recipe accordingly but I'm going to give you the ingredients for if you were making it with a pound of ground beef, okay? So I'm gonna turn up the heat and I'm going to just quickly brown my ground beef. Okay, so I've browned the ground beef. Now I'm gonna add back in my onion and my garlic and I'm going to mix it through. Okay, now to this I'm going to add two grated carrots. The reason I grate the carrots is it means you don't have to cook the carrots ahead of time. If you wanted to, if you wanted to put in cubes of carrots, I would say boil them for a couple of minutes just to soften them up before you add them. But another good tip for this is if you have kids who say they don't like vegetables, this disguises them and they don't actually know that they're in there. So I have two grated carrots, which I'm going to stir through. You can also add peas to this or sweet corn, um, really any vegetable that you like. I t typically just do carrot. Okay, now to this you can add either tomato puree or tomatoes. I have here some fire roasted tomatoes. So just add that. As I say, you can add tomato puree as well if you like. Okay, so now we're just going to mix that around. Sorry, I see I made a mess back there. Okay, so I'm just going to mix that around. You can see I have a lot of meat in here. Now, to this I'm going to add two tablespoons of Worcester sauce. So one, two. Most shepherd's pies have Worcestershire sauce in them. It's delicious. Now, at home, you can get bovril in a jar and it's kind of like a treacle. And that's really good to add to this also, if you like. In Canada, I found these, they're sachets, bovril sachets. They're actually very flavoursome. So I'm going to add two sachets to this. So at home, as I say, you can add a tablespoon of the bovril, the old-fashioned treacle type bovril. But I'm going to add two of these to it. Just gives it a really good flavor. You can also add rosemary and thyme, but um, I'm not adding it to mine as my family are not crazy about that flavor. But if you wanted to add it to yours, by all means, go ahead. Now to this I'm going to add a half a pint of Guinness. So just, this is a pint, so I have just, that's about a half a pint of Guinness. I'm going to stir that around. Okay, so I'm going to use this pre-made chicken bouillon. At home you can use your chicken stock cubes. Just um, add them to boiling water to make up a cup and a half. So I'm going to add in one and a half cups. 
So basically you're really adding about two cups of liquid to it, but as I had used Guinness, um, I'm just, I'm only adding a cup and a half of the stock. If I wasn't using the Guinness, I would add two cups of stock. Add some salt and pepper. I'm going to turn the heat down really low and I'm going to simmer it. Okay, I'll come back to you when that's cooked. Okay guys, so this simmered for about 20 minutes. Now I like to thicken my sauce before I put it into my dish to go in the oven. And you can use um, flour or corn flour if you like, but I actually like to use Bisto, um, this Bisto pack. Basically all it is is corn flour, I think with some sort of a beef flavouring. So I'm going to put three tablespoons of Bisto, and they, they, you know, they can be heaped, into a cup and I'm going to add some water. So don't add it straight into your dish because it will be, it'll become lumpy. So I'm just adding it into a cup here and I'm stirring it. And then this, and you will do the same thing if you were using flour or cornstarch. Okay, now I'm going to add this to my shepherd's pie. I'm going to bring it back to the boil to thicken it. And then it will be ready to go into my, my glass Pyrex dish. I'll put my lid back on. I will reduce it down to a simmer and give it another five minutes or so. Okay guys, my potatoes are cooked. So, actually I'll put them here. Uh, so I'm gonna mash them and get them ready to go on top of my shepherd's pie. So I always put it, when I'm doing a shepherd's pie, I always put an egg in it, because it actually makes the potatoes much fluffier. So we're just mash the potatoes and we're gonna add some milk. Um, probably a half, maybe a quarter to a half a cup of milk. A nice chunk of butter. Mash that in. Now I'm actually going to add some more milk to that. Mash them up and then just crack an egg in. And mash straight away. I don't know if you can see how creamy the potato is. I'm going to bring over my shepherd's pie in the pan. And I'm just going to take a large spoon and just spoon the potato kind of in portions across the top of the shepherd's pie. I'm going to take the fork and with your fork you can spread your potato over the shepherd's pie. I usually just put a little bit of butter on the top. Just break out little blobs of butter. It tends to crisp up the crust of the potato. And then just take your fork and go along the top. Okay. And then you're going to put that in the oven for about 15 minutes for the potato to, to crisp over and then your shepherd's pie will be ready. Okay guys, so I put my shepherd's pie into a 200 degree oven for 15 minutes and let it brown nicely on the top. You can see it there. And we're going to have it now for our dinner with some Yorkshire puddings. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for joining me.